you guys hear me? Yeah. My name's Jim McCabe. I'm from the Milwaukee Brewing Company. Not to be confused with that big one with the shadow cast over our brewery, but uh, Milwaukee Brewing Company. We're actually a tiny brewery in Milwaukee. You may be more familiar with our original brew pub, the Milwaukee Ale House. Hey. So, you know, we, we've seen this, this kind of stuff before, and, and I think what We've, we've had some amazing points. Don't really need to get into the, the morass of the eight pages of the motion. I can imagine when this turns into the real bill, it's going to be about as thick as a phone book if those still existed. But um, unfortunately, unlike the phone books, the, the distributors haven't gone the way of the dinosaur. They're still around. And they have a lot of political power here. And, and uh, how are we liking the new administration with no special interest? Huh? <laughs> Kind of, I don't know if you guys have done this Milwaukee drive in the last month. It's a little rough. It took, I was a little late getting here. Could have taken the train, maybe? No, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> it was about a two-hour drive today. So um, Anyway, uh, it, this is a tough thing to swallow because we were told that this kind of stuff wasn't going to happen. And we just, when we talk about this kind of stuff, it's this back room thing. I see Rob from Tyranina and some of our other friends here from Ale Asylum and Oso and, and, and now Vintage. I mean, this is a cool little industry that Wisconsin is actually, believe it or not, one of the leaders in the country in, in brewing craft beer and the innovation that is really important to this industry gets knocked out by these kinds of bills. Without getting technical on it, I mean, we need to connect with you guys in other places other than this. You know, we need to connect with you guys over a beer and it's our stuff and see this artisan style of brewing that's making a huge, huge impact economically in Wisconsin. So that's a really important yeah. point. You guys, you guys in Madison, you should applaud yourselves because you guys are way ahead of the curve and the consumption of craft beer. <laughs> <laughs> In the brewing industry, we call you guys the little Portland, because Portland, Portland is the one that, you know, one one out of every three beers consumed is a craft beer. And you guys, you, guys are, uh, you guys are right in that category. In Milwaukee, we were always a yellow busy town, and we were always, we were always way behind the national average. In 2010, Milwaukee is, was the strongest trending craft market in the country because they, they realized that, that the parking structure at Miller Corporate is empty and there's no more of that local loyalty that goes along with moving the headquarters down to Chicago. So now people have woken up to supporting the local companies and drinking craft beer and, and drinking for flavor and keeping things local. So that's starting to happen in our town too. One of the really important things here is to get, the best thing you can do is use email because if you get into a dialogue on the particulars of this legislation with somebody, they'll just bury you with detail. You don't want to do that. You want to get in and fire off every one of your friends, Facebook, everybody else to pound in those emails and tell them just to get off the backs of small businesses because this is a business that's growing by leaps and bounds. Distributors and big brewers are shrinking and they're getting all the attention. Yeah. You know, they're trying to push for stronger drunk driving legislation. Probably we need that kind of thing. But they're supporting the companies that are putting out 12% caffeine-infused malt-based Kool-Aid, selling it and marketing it to teenagers. It looks like a monster energy drink. And yet they're counting on us for making this artisan product that, you know, that people are paying a premium for and respecting the, the love and energy that goes into it. So we really feel like... You know, you got to get on them, and you're going to see us pushing a, a banner here that, talk, it's, sorry it's so small, but drink better beer, not political Kool-Aid. So, when, when you hear him say, when you hear some guy get up there in a suit telling you that this isn't affecting small breweries, we're exempt. Why is there nine pages of stuff talking about new rules for small brewers? If we're exempt, then exempt us. There's no exemption. Don't take that Kool-Aid. Yeah. 
The other big thing you got to remember as you get, you know, the rhetoric here and the Kool-Aid's coming on strong is that they talk about a three-tier system all the time. Who are the three tiers? Us, the brewers. Those guys, the wholesalers. I spell it without the H. Sometimes it's not a <laughs> so, um, so the middle tier is the wholesaler. The last step is the retailer. When the wholesaler gets it to the retailer, job's done. They don't talk about the fourth tier. They don't talk about you guys. Craft brewers care about you guys who drink our beer. I mean, that's what's most important, is handing you a beer and getting that beer. rhetoric around is they don't really care about the consumer side. They're just protecting their little world in the middle and have nothing to, to we're trying to get from the first tier to the fourth tier somehow. So anyway, support this thing. Keep fighting it. It's The big deal with, with uh, the current state of, of media is this will die down a little bit next week. That's what they want. Don't let it happen. The media is going to stop covering it as much. Email and social media can keep this thing alive. Pound it. Keep pounding it. So that's the message. Yeah.